Like a man. Paris Halton. I strut. I move my stuff. I throw shapes. I throw shade. And I strut and move. Bust a move. Hello. And today, I'm going to be watching the hottie and the naughty. And you know whaty? It's going to be awesome. You know the girl. Your first real vision of beauty. The one that all other girls have to measure up to. Mate, I wasn't fussy. <laughs> but yeah, no, I wasn't that I wasn't that attractive to have the one. The one you run to so you can breathlessly declare your undying love. Uh, a bit intense. That guy's got the right idea, picking his nose. That's what I'd be doing. Picking my nose and eating glue, eating a uh, prit stick. But things don't always work out the way you think they will when you're six years old. Oh my god, six years old, man. Six years old, you should be, I don't know, climbing trees and smelling grass. She's just an emotional girl. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rate that song if I was a, to be fair. It's fine, you're just an, you want the guitar? Stupid boy, making stupid songs. I'm gonna break your guitar on your forehead, you sausage. Your songs, which suck, by the way, Bear. they're always la 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 la, Jane shaved my head. I mean, I would complain about that, but I wouldn't write a song about it either. Why do you think I spray painted your car? Yeah, you dingus. <laughs> that is attempted manslaughter. If we're gonna, if we're gonna be pedantic. No other girl would ever make me happy. Oi, por favor, mate. Jeez Louise, you've still got a picture in your drawer, man. In theory, he's 26 and he's still got a six-year-old's picture in his drawer. I'll let you make your own conclusions. Bit sus. I have a valentine for you in my backpack. Look who it is. I guess that's the hottie and that's the naughty. I knew I had to find her. Oh, God. Hey, can I get you a, a, a coivassier or a... <laughs> She's my favourite so far, Miss Blount. I would like a cocoa, please. You know, because usually 13's a bad age. From the first grade on, she just got hotter every year. Oh, gross. Gross. Guys, yes, that is weird. In order to gain access to the hottie, the naughty must be appeased. Exactly. June is the reason that Christabel is still single. Right. The hottie and her every move. This whole thing is about Christabel Abbott? You should see the website. This is just like, let me show you how much of a creep I've been. Ha. Yeah. Jeez. Well, let's look at the file, boys. She has a two mile jog every morning past the Santa Monica Pier. Not weird. She'll pass the north end of the pier between 6.15 and 6.18 a.m. All I'm saying is, maybe films like this make you understand why girls believe in the patriarchy and don't want to talk to boys. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. I mean, guys, it is Paris Hilton. So I've never enjoyed running like that. If you look at me doing it, I'm a panting mess. I'm so sorry. Were you sniffing me? That is just not it. What What was that interaction, man? That was just bizarre. You must be Nate Cooper. Well, like, Nate gonna be a good person. <laughs> oh, that's just my stalker, Randy. You got one in front of you, love. I <clears throat> am a personal trainer. Ooh. My roommate. It's June. Woo! There. Now you can't lose it. Just gonna lose my brain instead. You can just tell she's just a pretty girl wearing grills. I mean, I've, I've tried it all. You know, um, the shaving, bumps, and ingrown hairs. I don't really get it. Because, like, like, cause like, a lot of her stuff is actually, like, <laughs> not permanent stuff. You know, she's not like severely disfigured or she's not like the elephant man. Like a lot of this, I was, all I guess I'm trying to say is a lot of her stuff's like not a big deal. Ready for the male gaze? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Woo! I'm not going to date anyone again until 
doing that's someone special in her life. So she's living like an, a nun because her sister, not sister, sorry, her friend isn't getting any. But like that just, in my, that just doesn't make any sense. I am just too concerned about June. You've really been thinking about June. I've been thinking about June. Poor June. Although June, I do think you need better friends. I think that a life without orgasms is like a world without flowers. Then why'd she take a vow of celibacy then? If you're that horny. But all you had to do is go out on a few dates. She have a vagina. Does she have a vagina? That's always my first question. God, I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous. Just do like I said. Right. Keep drinking. Oh, I like June. She's actually quite she's actually quite adorable. Whilst I feel like Paris Hilton's just playing herself. Isn't this great? Magnificent. I think the naughty is gonna get a makeover at the end. Oh. oh god, is this brain is lit this, this brain? Oh my god, this movie's literally turning my brain to mush. Venice? Yeah. That, that would be my dream day too. Oh I'm calling it, I'm calling it. Nate and June are gonna get together. That's what's gonna happen. Come I feel like they're just doing that just for effect though. That's not even that funny. I allow your many suitors to do their, oh, well, I'm a nice guy, so I'm talking to your ugly friend in the hopes that I might get a glimpse of your perfect rest routine. Right, Nate? I just don't get what their relationship is. Like, it just feels like they're a, a, in a relationship without the benefits of being in a relationship. It's like they're, they're a f relation, friendship, relation, relationship. Oh, that, that was too close to something else there. <laughs> I really like you, Nate. I don't believe that. I thought about you sometimes over the years. You even kept our old class picture and used to look at it once in a while. Oh, so we've got two weirdos. So, hey, you're made for each other. You're, you're, you're just as creepy as each other. So, hey, win, win. Well, you think they were crazy. Or a pedophile. Yeah. Good. Now stick with me. I got a plan. Oh, God. What, what we're going to do here today is a combination of aversion therapy and do-it-yourself hypnosis. Really? We're really doing this? This is happening. Are you insane? Yes. When you see this, what you actually will be seeing is this. So the only way this woman can be loved, right? As if we hypnotise and torture a guy. Got it. <laughs> oh, God. Remember my instructions. Until which time you hear the phrase, I love midget miles. This is so goofy. This is so goofy. Oh. Resistance is futile. Oh. Not. Creepy. June's coming back next week to get her mole removed, finally. I really feel for June in this series, man. I'm actually like, you know what, this this has actually made me pr very pro-June. You are June Bay. Oh, look, Daddy, I love Midget Mines. Of course. They're called little people, honey. That's father of the year right there. <laughs> Woo! You're a dentist? Yeah, I love it. It's so fulfilling. Oh, I see what you did there. So fulfilling. <laughs> Brace yourselves. <laughs> Maybe he wants to get inside her. <laughs> He's just buttering up the freak to get to Christabel. Mate, these two are just absolute donuts. They're absolute potatoes. These these guys are supposed to be the protagonist, right? The protagonist and his sidekick, and they are uh, prolapse and arse lick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, just make sure they're never alone together where he can impress her without you being there to deflect it. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to instill even more creepy techniques. That will make us look less desperate. If he ever tries to take off his shirt in front of her, you got to make sure it only happens over your dead puny body. Ah. Thanks for the advice, my guy. If your shirt ever does come off in front of her, spunk out her eye. What is this? Oh, come on. I thought that the most important rule in relationships was to be honest. Why is lying an issue now? He's literally been lying this whole time and lying's suddenly an issue now. 
Johan's making the veneers next week. I think I called it, guys. She's basically going to have a makeover. It's the only way you can love yourself. The kids? Needy children from the ghetto. From the ghetto. <laughs> In the ghetto. Hey, hey, male heterosexual angel. In the wind. I'm struggling here. Oh, he jumped on him again. Same joke. Let's rinse the same joke. We gotta figure out something you're really good at. I'll tell you what you're not good at. Fucking comedy. <laughs> what do we used to do to impress girls like during recess? How does that even get you a partner? Oh, what about the kazoo? Remember we used to rock the kazoo at nap time. When I was five, I was good at the like the, the beanbag race that we had in, in primary school. But that doesn't mean that's gonna attract a woman. No. Oh, poo joke. <laughs> lovely, lovely farty poo joke. That's what we need right now. <laughs> Ooh, what a unique piece. I've got a unique piece. <laughs> Back in the playground days. Back in the playground days. Mate, this guy is just fixated on primary school. I wish there was a prom in the first grade because I would have rocked it. <laughs> he's 26 and he's fixed. He has everything's to do with primary school. It's like a, it's just weird. You know what? This is why you need therapy, guys. Like a me, Paris Halton. I strut, I move my stuff. I throw shapes, I throw shade, and I strut and move. Bust a move. I feel like they're just the jokes just aren't. They're just not landing. Oh, so you're attracted to Johan now, is that it? This is where we need to insert the conflict, guys. He's some kind of a damn pod person. I don't even know what a pod person is. What is a pod person? I thought you were different. That you actually wanted to help June, and that you wanted to get to know me. I don't think she did that much to, to get to know him. Most of her story was basically like, Ooh, I'm horny. You can only be with me if you help my friend. And then he goes, Ooga Booga. Yes, I will do that. Ooga booga. And then that's basically the whole storyline. And you know what? Uh-huh. I am out of your league. You tell him, sister. You can't sing. You can't dance. You're a terrible athlete and a really crappy liar. That's why I'm breaking up with you. You can't lie well enough. You need to lie better. I lied. We know that. I'm sorry, Nate. It's over. She's not perfect. Don't get me wrong. But... I'd avoid him like the plague, mate. We gotta get her back, Nate. What are you gonna do, big boy? Big dog? I called it, guys. I called it she's gonna get her. I was gonna get a thing done. I think that's the problem with this film, is I kind of knew where it was gonna go. I mean, come on. I think I look a hell of a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to agree. <laughs> wow. All right, mate. Calm down. It's a, it's a little bit of a shock to the system. You know what? It'd have been it'd have been a nicer story as if he actually fell in love with Joan, even despite her flaws. That'd have been nice. Not, you know what, Joan? You need to change your whole body. Love the message, guys. Whoop whoop. I'll never look at a soul patch ever again the same. It's tainted now. Is this pointless? No, Nate. You are pointless. You know, our annual uh, costume party is a week from tonight, so... Just gonna say, June, if you do end up with him, which is what's looking like is gonna happen, not a good friend. Just gonna say it here. Most, most, most friends, most good friends anyway, they don't really go after their friend's ex-partner. Not a good move, usually. June, don't do it, June. 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 Don't do it, June. No, June. Oh. Uh. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I know why you did that. You're thinking with Mr. Mr. Wiener. Get out of here before your girlfriend gets back. You are not having a good day. Smooch June and said, I don't know why I did that. And then Paris, you jumped on her because the other guy's showing his abs. Like, even when I just say that out loud, that just sounds stupid. <laughs> that transition, I actually like, guys. <laughs> I think he's compensating for something. Oh, uh, by the way, I talked to Christabel and I smoothed everything over, so she's really excited to see you. Although I should warn you, she's a little bit. Yeah. But you argued with him and he just kissed you. You should be annoyed at him. And then you smooth stuff over. That just doesn't make any sense. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, okay, breathe. I may have misjudged you, Nate Cooper. I love a fart joke. I love a poo joke. I do. I just feel like they're just putting it in there rather than actually like crafting a good farty poo joke. Women like June are just so much more 
grateful. Uh... And I think tonight, it's finally time for a reward. If you know what I mean. I mean, he he was being a dick there. He was being a dick there. But Nate has got no legs to stand on. If he was a Lord of the Rings character, <laughs> he'd be legoless. <laughs> He said that you would be grateful. Nate, mate, you are just a little snake. I really don't like him. I've never even had a boyfriend. This this scene's actually pretty good on her behalf. Like she's really acting her ass off. I applaud you, Juno. Or wait, what's her name? Kristen Lack Larkin? Lackin? Kristen isn't lacking. She's packing. Why couldn't you be? All of Nate's feelings is so fake because it's like he's only felt this way since she's had a makeover. It's the thing about fairy tales, Nate. They're not true. They're just not true. Oh, called it. <laughs> well, when you really care about someone, you're willing to overlook their flaws. She wasn't showing flaws. Like, everybody gets drunk. Everybody farts. Farting's not a flaw. And I just wanted to make sure you liked me for me. She hasn't shown anything. She hasn't, that's the, maybe that's the problem. She hasn't shown anything apart from like, I'm horny. I want my friend to be horny. And don't lie to me. So why don't you go light some candles? June has some in the dresser in her room. Do you think Nate's still gonna go to Plow Town? I feel like Nate's still gonna hit it. I wanna become a non virgin. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> I'm just imagining if I said that, if I said that to uh, my partner, I just wouldn't. <laughs> Look up, baby, oh, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it. She has his picture in her drawer and he's going to see that. And that's why they're supposed to be together. I'm going to call it now, guys. You're hearing it here first. That's going to happen. Come in. Oh, I was close. I was close. <laughs> Don't make any sudden moves. She's trying to strangle herself with her hood. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Bonjour, Paris. Why did you pick me? Maybe it's all the lion. I think that's what it is, Nate. You stalked me. S stalked is a is a big word. Stalked is an accurate word. Ever since the first grade. Oy, 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 oy. Let's put it this way. I want to bang your friend. <laughs> I think I gave the Valentine to the right girl. You have to go tell her. That was such a quick turnaround. That was such a quick one. We're girlfriend and boyfriend. Just like, no, go slam up my, my friend. I'm fine with it. How do you know she's there? How do you know? How do you know where to go? How would you know? You wouldn't know. I came here not not to tell you that Johan doesn't deserve you. You, you told her that by saying that, you donut. I don't even know what that means. That's dumb. Yep. I don't deserve you. That's true. You're the girl. Guys, are you feeling emotional right now? No, June. No! June! Stop it, June! No! No. Oh, who sits on a bench like that? <laughs> there we have it, kids. Thanks for watching. I still had a good time. I hope you guys did too. And, uh, hotty in the naughty. Whatty do you think? Lately, for my days, I would order some.